Alright, so I've seen many videos on YouTube in perspective to newest apps or best apps but couldn't find any video which actually summons everything. So here are my top picks or shall I say the most used apps from 2015 considering productivity. First, Google Keep. This app is essentially a go-to guide if you're out for say shopping or in need of a quick notes app which can be accessed universally respective of the platform choice, adding labels, check boxes, colored notes are the key highlights of this app. Whereas a recent update even lets you draw from various shallow to dark strokes which essentially is just a gimmick. Next, Evernote. This app is essentially the same thing as that of what we have seen in Google Keep but it adds more flexibility with many additional features. My favorite one is the work chat section in which you can create a group by simply inviting others via their mail IDs. So now whatever you do is seen by others in the group. It's kind of like a mashup of WhatsApp and Team Viewer. Next, Flipdap. This app lets you control yourself by completely blocking you from accessing notifications on your phone. So an overlay is stitched upon your phone's interface. You can even add groups and flip off every other friend's phone, letting your friends to concentrate on studies. You can also set daily schedules, while when you're flipped off, you can set auto-response messages. While this is how it works, tap flip off, select the time, hit go, and then tap OK. Now we are getting into the good stuff. <laughs> I know everyone watching this probably has a smile on their face, trust me, so do I. No matter how hard you try, you ain't knocking it down. But there's a way to unlock it. Tap 60 seconds unlock button and then head over to force close the app. Next, Zender. I know, I know, everyone knows it. One of the very few apps to offer Wi-Fi transfer functionality which is updated regularly. But if you dig down on the settings, you can actually discover that sending system apps is possible. Even turning on the shake to send gesture which is off by default including accessing hidden files. But the best thing about this app is you can actually send slash receive data from any Android or iOS or even Windows phone. You just need to follow additional steps displayed on your device. Even transfers across laptops comes in handy. Next, Record App. This app lets you record your screen without rooting your Android device. This feature is mostly observed in Cyanogen mod ROMs. Since this is a free version, there's not a lot to see here, but you know, you can record audio and set timer to record. Well, this is how it works. These videos can be quite good for, let's say, starting a YouTube channel as there are no visual jitters in this footage. Only thing to note is that this app works only on Android Lollipop 5.0 and above. For other versions of Android, root it! Next, Adobe Photoshop Express. This app is for all the lazy people who need to have that solid pinch of colors thrown onto your photo which looks peeled or washed out in color department. Simply select a photo and tap the magic wand and there you go. For others, there are tons of features available from looks, straightening, red eye corrections to removing blemishes. Then there's After Focus Pro. This app lets you have that solid DSLR bokeh effect on any photo captured via your smartphone. Isn't that awesome? Simply select the focus area, chop down the background, tapping zoom helps to perfect the areas more distinctively. Then just tap the play icon and there you have it. Adjust the blur intensity, smooth out rough edges and you just got a wicked photo right there. Then you can simply play with other effects changing blur from foreground to background. When you're done, simply tap the save icon and this is how the final image looks like. Next, Kindemaster or Kindmaster. This app is the perfect solution for 
anyone looking for a video editing app on Android providing amazing features like applying themes, changing orientation, adding animating text, virtually anything you can think of, even drawing and adding stickers. This is your go-to app for video editing on Android device. Next, Udemy. Is there anything you need to learn? Well, here's the app you need to have on your device at any cost. Learning programming, Photoshop, video editing, blogging, YouTubing, increasing your social presence. There's no limit of what you can learn with this platform. This app has it all. Fun fact, I'll be sharing few coupon codes soon, so make sure you subscribe, okay? Next, TubeMate Downloader. So here's how you can download any YouTube video on your Android device easily. Then there's facets. Do you struggle finding some dope wallpapers every day? Well, you're not the only one. This is the app you gotta have. Here there are many wallpapers available to download for free, while you can even buy the print format. And these mystical wallpapers are created by this man, Justin Moller. Lastly, push bullet. This app keeps your devices synced in no matter which platform you choose. Do you find yourself in the situation where your friend sends you a link via WhatsApp and you ask him to send that same link on Facebook? Yeah, I have been there. So here's how to fix that. Simply copy that link and pasting it with Ctrl V on your computer. Doing no additional steps, only installing Pushbullet on phone and on computer. Unfortunately, you have to pay for this. Even though this is how you can send any document or photo to your phone from your computer. Whereas, you can even set passwords just for security reasons. So that wraps up for this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.